Coming up on the show, Namsanje, our call for the day is the Maserati Gran Turismo. And then we have a look at the gadget for the day. And then, of course, we cannot forget the video game. And then, it's go to buy any celebrity viewer here to Namsanje. And then our exciting robot for the day is the HRP4. And then we wrap up the show with the social link. Enjoy the show. Welcome to it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Siya Bonga, Manini, Manini, Gazi. Whoever's tuning into the show right now, you are definitely tuning into the right show, investing your time into the right television show. We call it the Gadget Show right here on Soweto TV. It's all about the gadgets, the games, the technology, and the video games. Nezindo is Ningi, plus more, and a bag of chips. By the way, I go by the name of Marvelous Wonder. I am the dude with the face for radio and voice for TV. It's Tarazin Osamle, so I have to say it, because you know it. With that being said, thank you so much much for tuning into the show. I promise you nothing but the best uh, of the best uh, of his and Desmond Nandi. With that being said, let's jump straight into it. Uh, this is our car for the week. It is time for us to have a look at an amazing and sexy car for Namsanje. And trust me, Leanne Namsanje is exactly that. Yeah. It is for buyers looking past the usual suspects, such as the Ferraris and Lamborghinis. The Maserati's Gran Turismo offers something extraordinary in high performance. It's a six-figure coupe, or of course it can be a convertible, that embodies all that is compelling and irresistible about Italian cars. The exterior has curves in all the right places. The interior is lavish and there's an amazing 454 horsepower, 4.7 liter V8 engine issue. The drop top, however, adds weight and lacks the coupe stiffness and response but still looks just as amazing as its counterparts. The Gran Turismo is big, it's exotic, and just powerful enough that it could take an expensive bite out of your ego. So please make sure before you play with this beast, your bank account is sufficient enough. There are plenty of 2 million Rand Plus cars that can satisfy you more than the Maserati could, but if you're the type that takes as much pleasure in collecting wine as you do drinking the wine inside, Maserati has a Gran Turismo with your name. from inside out, not just from the outside. The top speed that this car will reach is 300 kilometers per hour. And how much can you expect to pay for this brand new baby? More than 2 million rand, that's for sure. And it does 0 to 100 kilometers in 4.7 seconds. Wow! The rating that this car gets Namsanje is 9 out of 10 because it is the Maserati Gran Turismo. It is a marvelous wonder. Welcome back to it, ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls. You are tuned into Soweto TV right here on channel 251. And let's, of course, let's bring a letter from Echao Ding. It is a free to air channel. It is one of the biggest channels. And this is one of the biggest shows right here in Zanti Africa. With that being said, this is the gadget show. Let's focus on that. From the games to the gadgets and isn't this me? That was the car for the week. Right now, let's jump straight into something that will complement your car. This is the gadgets for the week. Yes, it's Kata Corner. It is time for the Gadget Review right here on the Gadget Show. And in Amsanji, we are looking at the PlayStation 4 console. And uh, to tell us more about that, just tell what to expect in terms of the future and how the brand and the console is actually done is, you know, a guy that needs no introduction right here on the Gadget Show. It's actually very important when it comes to making sure that you are entertained. I could with that, I'm a game and do everything. Rob, I speak a lot, I talk a lot. Please tell the viewers that I've actually never seen you. Who are you exactly? Uh, well, my name is uh, Robert Fischer. I'm the uh, general manager for Middle East and Africa for PlayStation. So. All right. So he's the guy. You know, you need to speak to him. Ever you bump, like, if ever you actually, you know, just come across him in public, just say, hey, I want a PlayStation console for free. Give it to me now, and he's going to give it to you. Right? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So let's talk about the brand. How well has it done so far in terms of um, Africa and South Africa? Well, it's growing from strength to strength, I, I would say, um, and especially here in South Africa, we've been here a number of uh, years already, and uh, just towards the end of last year, we saw the introduction of PlayStation 4, yeah. and since then, it's just kind of really, really taken off. So. Exactly, and uh, what, like, the, the, the reception with regard to the video games, um, have people been into them, and what kind of video games are we looking at? Well, uh, yes, we've positioned it, and we're very, very 
uh, focused and targeted on the gamers. And we've announced some great games that are coming out. Yeah. Of course, we just released now Drive Club. Yeah. But we've got other games coming out, but it's The Order, a Little Big Planet, but also yeah. SingStar, you know, offering a completely different gaming, uh, gaming experience for uh, another type of audience. And then uh, Bloodborne, for example, uh, yeah. releasing very soon as well. So, exactly. uh, yeah, some great game experiences. And hopefully they'll kind of create communities uh, around those gaming experiences that will meet online and compete online and have, yeah. have a bit of fun as well. Exactly. No, trust me, I have lots of fun with the Drive Club. I love that. The graphics are just incredible. So this PlayStation TV, PS TV, mm -hmm. What is that exactly? Well, PlayStation TV does two things. One, it's um, a remote play device for PlayStation 4. So just mm -hmm. imagine that you know, you're kind of playing on your PlayStation 4 in the living room and maybe yeah. your dad comes in uh, and he wants to see the news and he kind of kicks you off. Um, <laughs> you, you can actually As they usually do. <laughs> and you can actually continue play, playing then your PlayStation 4 game uh -huh. on the PlayStation TV in exactly. another room on a second screen. And then when you're dead, Kind of leaves the room you can continue to play again on your playstation 4 seamlessly All so right. that, that's one part of it the other part is that in south africa will introduce it as a maybe an entry level video gaming console right. at hopefully a little bit of an affordable price yeah and it will play most of the vita games that have um, been published in, in the past or right. will be published in the future so uh -huh. so i actually see it as a as a social responsibility mechanism because it's, it's helping people to be more peaceful so the parents don't fight with the kids and the girlfriend doesn't fight with the boyfriend when they want their time with the tv i can just leave the room and continue my game Yes. And what kind of features, really? what, what other features can we look at or anticipate when it comes to the PlayStation TV? Uh, well, on PlayStation 4, another feature that we're um, releasing is uh, SharePlay. Okay. So that basically means that if I play a particular game on my PlayStation 4 and you're sitting in your house with yeah. your PlayStation 4, you can actually connect with me on, online and I can let you in on, on the game. Nice. And you can actually have uh, access to that game as well w without you actually having you know, physically physical. that uh, copy. Now, of yeah. course, there will be some limitations on time or you know other limitations to the amount that you can, can play, uh, but you can have then that gaming experience together. So awesome. You see, once again, sharing is caring. It's about the community coming together so the first of season and moving forward in terms of the brand what are we looking at you know in terms of your strategy marketing wise uh, well, we'll focus on the games and the games yeah. and, and the games because uh, that's really what you know brings the console alive and what brings the people together online. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> there, there will be maybe some promotion activity, um, you know, leading up to Christmas. Mm -hmm. That's not uh, confirmed yet, yeah. um, but that would kind of make sense to do that as well. So, you know, we're looking forward to uh, yeah a, a, a good quarter. Speaking of that, um, how can people out there stay in touch with regard to the events that are upcoming? And and um, things and promotions and you know marketing campaigns. Well, we uh, keep people uh, in our game is up to date uh, through different uh, communication channels. There are, uh, for example, PlayStation.com, okay. their Facebook pages. You can sign up to Twitter if you want. All right. Um, there, there are blog posts as, as well, so you can yeah. get involved in in that. So there are many, many different ways uh, where you can find out what's really coming and, and what's happening. All right, so Facebook, Twitter, Blogspot, and the actual it's, website it's as well. There. I mean, what more can you actually ask for? And trust me, when you see this guy walking in the mall, ask him for a console, he'll give it to you. If it doesn't, I don't know. Welcome back to it. I hope with you did enjoy checking out that gadget. Whether it was a smartphone, a tablet, or the any, any gadgets do make the world go round. But after we go around, we have to take a bit of a break. Sit up short right, sit up short left. After the break, we continue with the gadget show and find out what more we have in store for you.